Over the past 100 days, I decided to give Shopify dropshipping a go. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically a business which is entirely outsourced, so the only thing that you do is promote the product, all of your sales and all of the shipping and handling is done by a third party. I've heard some people say that they'd made literally hundreds of thousands of dollars doing this, and others saying that it was a complete waste of time, so I thought it was time to try it out for myself. Everyone's dropshipping journey can be broken down into what I call the three P's. Preparation, product, and um, promotion. So day one, I dove straight into preparation. First, I came up with a business name, Valtero. Then, I designed a logo, slapped a few mountains on a circle. I bought the domain, valtero.com. I paid for my first month of Shopify. I chose a simple theme. I downloaded a few Shopify apps. And then I set up my social pages, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Within a day or two, I was already ready to move on to product. So through this app called Obolo, I was able to scroll through literally hundreds of thousands of products until I found one that I thought was gonna go viral or be the next big thing. After hours and hours of searching through Obolo, I came across what I thought was the next viral product. I called it Steely, the bendable, reusable steel straw. To set myself apart, I decided it was cheap enough that I would just order the product myself and then I could make all of my own videos and take my own product photos so that I wouldn't have to use the dodgy ones on the website. Then I waited for six weeks. Ugh. Bingo. Basically, it's this plastic thing and voila. It was actually called like bendable, reusable, steel, straw, AVC, plastic, certified, something, something. When it arrived, I hopped straight into the studio and started making ad number one. Here is that ad. I think it was a lot cooler in my head than it actually was. I made an audience, I uploaded the ad to Facebook, bought like $5 a day worth of Facebook ads. Unfortunately, the first ad didn't go so well. I tried four different audiences, none of them worked. I was getting a few visitors here and there, but no sales. A few days later though, I woke up to some news from the dropshipping gods. There was no time to make a new ad with fresh news like this. I had to get this ad out ASAP. So I took a photo, made an ad in about 10 minutes, uploaded it, got an audience, and put it straight to work. Within about 30 minutes, I had a really good click-through rate and a lot of people actually staying on the website. I even got my first comment on my ad, but it wasn't quite what I was expecting. <laughs> I decided it was time to get a little bit more product research in so that I could understand sort of the industry a little bit better. And I stumbled across the exact same product, but way cooler. And with that, I decided that I'm just going to have to get on the grind and start all over again. So I started over with my new, thoroughly researched, perfect viral product, which I called My First Imprint Kit. Basically a hand and footprint kit for babies. I was ready, and it wasn't going to waste my time waiting for the product and making the videos for the product when there were ones there which already looked pretty decent. A few quick ads and audiences later, I had my first sale. This was the most hype moment of the entire 100 days. I can't even explain how legendary it was. A few hours later, I got my second second sale and now I was thinking I'm in the big leagues now this is it okay maybe I just got lucky but at least now I had the blueprint right this time I was sure it was gonna work there were no mistakes left to be made <sighs> then again the dropshipping gods spoke to me. With a pretty hot summer coming up in the US, now is the perfect time to capitalize on something which people would want because of the heat. Enter the portable smartphone fan. It's, it's a portable smartphone fan, it's in the name. A few ads later and a lot of audiences later, I'd spent another 70 bucks for no sales. I thought that one had hope and I was getting an insane amount of visits on my site, like probably four times what I got for any other product I've used so far. So it was time to go back to the drawing board and I started to wonder why I had ever stopped with my first imprint kit. I'd got two sales, I hadn't spent that much money, I hardly knew anything back then and I'd still managed to generate sales. It was time to give my first imprint kit another crack. Time for a new logo, a new name, 
the change was denied, okay, that's fine, and a website redesign. It was time to really trust my judgment and invest in myself. I made countless ads, countless audiences, and after weeks of hard work, I made two sales. Oh. I also lost $185. And it was at that point that I decided it was time to give up the dropshipping dream. So there you have it. That was about 500 hours of work, about $500, and a grand total in profit of $24.98. In a lot of ways, I hope that this serves as a sort of cautionary tale for anyone who's looking to get into anything like dropshipping or something similar. You should understand, though, that dropshipping is definitely a legit way of making money. It's just a whole lot harder than the YouTube gurus make it sound. Really, it's just like starting any other kind of business. It's going to be a lot of work, it might fail, but if it doesn't, you're in the hot seat. In a lot of ways though, I don't actually regret this experience. Sure, I spent 500 hours and $500, but at the same time I learned a lot about everything from website and graphic design to Facebook ads and social media promotion. If I view it as me paying $500 for some sort of course that teaches me about all these things, I can almost convince myself that it was worth it. So that is that. I hope that you, oh, that was probably a bit loud. So that was that. I hope that you enjoyed. I never really intended to make a video about this, which is why I sort of didn't document it along the way, but I thought it was a really interesting experience and something which I wouldn't necessarily not recommend you try. If you are interested in it and you think that you have an idea or you like this kind of stuff, then give it a go. I would definitely recommend setting some sort of money threshold where if you reach it and you still haven't turned a profit, you should probably give it a break or go back to the drawing board. Apart from that, I hope that you enjoyed this. We have had a surge of uh, subscribers join the army. We have doubled from five to ten in just a few days, which is awesome. I will see you guys very soon. Thank you for watching and bye-bye. Oh yeah, leave, leave a thumbs up too. That'd be nice. Thanks.